Attention all product innovators. If you want to become a better product innovator, then you should learn the methods and beliefs of the great ones. The great innovators and the great innovations. So what can we learn from studying them? Well, actually, the answer is that we could learn quite a bit. Hi, my name is Mark Zabrowski, and I know this because I conducted this study. You know, after over 30 years involved in new products, new product design, new product development, and innovation strategies, I've seen a lot, and I've learned a lot. So I became curious. What made for great innovators? What made great innovations? What were they doing? What were they practicing? Did they have any common set of beliefs or methods about what they were doing to achieve their greatness? So I studied them. And what I found was that, yes, indeed, there were a common set of beliefs and practices that they followed to help them decide on how, where, and when to innovate. I'm here now to share this with you. Now it's your turn to become a great product innovator. You can follow these beliefs and improve your success rate in new product innovation. And if you do follow just a few of these beliefs, they will help guide you to finding the right balance of comfort, courage, and methods to improve your success rate. In each of these episodes, I highlight one of the 12 most important beliefs of great product innovators. The limits of consumer research, business definitions, innovations versus needs, organizing for innovation, balancing innovations, trend opportunities, innovations in a commodity business, the product life cycle, the stage gate process, champions and cheerleaders, the courage to innovate, and the innovator's vision, a gift to innovate. As you can see, these 12 beliefs reflect the full range of practices within the new product function. Watch each short episode and learn about the belief, learn about the rationale, and study the real-world examples. And then apply the beliefs that you think make the most sense to your business to help improve your innovation success rate. I have seen this work for others. I think it can work for you. Here now is belief number six, trend opportunities. Belief number six, trend opportunities. Here are some questions. Do you ensure that your new product ideas align with prevailing trends? Do you include trend analysis as one of many stimuli for generating new product ideas? The first practice is good, but the second practice is best. Belief number six, successful new product programs don't just align with trends, they mine and exploit trends for opportunities. We live in a world of ongoing events. When these events occur with more consistency over time, they are called trends. All trends drive changes that create winners and losers, opportunities and threats. Great innovators seek trend opportunities. Our interest is in identifying trend opportunities for creating new product ideas. There are four steps to mining trend opportunities. The first step is to observe and uncover trends. Where can we see trends? Trends can be spotted everywhere. Start by looking up from your cell phone. You go shopping nearly every day. What new products do you see? You watch media every day. Where do you spend time, more time, less time? Your business requires equipment and people. What new technology are you using? 
You read about business every day, what companies are succeeding and which are failing. You watch the news often, where are you getting your news? You visit the doctor when necessary, what new brochures do you get? And on. To understand how trends create opportunities, you must ask questions about their impact. Who benefits? Who loses? What new needs emerge? What new behaviors emerge? How does the trend simplify or complicate things? If you don't ask those questions, you can miss the opportunities, but you won't miss the threats. They'll find you whether you are looking and asking or not. Here are some examples. In this example, we identify a trend and then contemplate the types of general opportunities that are created by the trend. In this case, we're looking at more hostile world from man and nature. So let's look at emerging general opportunities. Personal protection products, greater demand for survival products and services, increased need for people tracking, 24-7 news everywhere, access to on-demand energy, heat, light, food, water, new types of insurance, search for safety, climates, terrains, communities, security systems for people, data, and possessions, and more resilient construction methods and materials. Next, we look at the general opportunities and generate possible new product ideas for a specific business. In this case, we're looking at an electronics manufacturer. So again, the observed trend is more hostile world from man and nature, and we're looking at specific new product ideas for a possible electronics manufacturer. Runner's proximity sensor to alert to nearby human assailant. Rapid rental, delivery, and service of energy generators. Family tracking devices and cell phone software. GPS electronic beacon bracelets given to residents pre-natural disasters for improved rescue of humans and pets. Handheld device to stun assailants. Handheld electronic water purity tester. If you are going to become a better product innovator, you need to understand the role of trends as a stimulating source for generating new product ideas. So follow the lead of great innovators. Trend spotting and analysis should be everyone's job and not just the job of an outside hired consultant. All it takes is to look up, observe, ask questions, describe the emerging general opportunities, and finally, exploit those opportunities for innovations for your business. Now it's your turn. What new product ideas can your company pursue as it exploits any of these trends? More hostile world from man and nature, distance socializing, working, learning, heightened fear of germs, wearable technology, group sharing, customization, and robotic and AI services. So visit my YouTube episode for a more detailed review of trend opportunities, the four steps to exploiting trends for innovation opportunities.